Hi everyone, my name is Cass and I'm a teacher here on Palfish. So today I wanted to give you a tour of the app and show you how you can get started at Palfish from the very beginning when you first download the app through the application all the way to the end when you're ready to start teaching your very first class. So I hope this helps. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to your phone's app store and type in Palfish. It will be a white app with two orange fish in the center. You can go ahead and download that. And once it is downloaded, to sign up, you first start by entering your phone number. And then your phone will be sent a verification code, which you can type in here. All right, so now that you are all verified, you can start creating your profile. The first thing you need to do is choose a name and a password. Then you need to upload a photo as your profile picture and then sign up. So now that you have finished that, now we need to complete the rest of your profile. So you can hit do it now to continue on. Here's your profile so far. Now we still need to enter in some text intro, audio intro and auto reply message. And then after we've entered those, we will add the title, tags, and submit it. So let's start with text intro. Here you can write an introduction about who you are. You can build up your credibility and help the students get to know who you are. When students visit your profile, they will be able to see this intro and based on what you've written, make an assessment of whether or not you are someone that they're interested in learning from. It's good to include passions and hobbies as well. Okay, so now we are going to add our audio intro. This is basically something you can just record your text intro if you would like. The student, it allows the student to have the opportunity to hear what you sound like when you speak and assess whether or not they are able to understand you. And it goes, it's another factor to choosing a teacher. And last, we need our auto reply message here. So this is a message that a student will receive if they're attempting to call you and you are busy, for example, with another student or maybe you are just offline. All right, now we'll add a title. This title has to be short and sweet. It is going to be going under your profile name, so that's why it needs to be short. Usually you would add a teaching certificate you may have, or years of experience of teaching, or university graduate, so on. Now tags. So tags you can choose from are, there are so many, there's UK, US student, IT, sports, this is just a way for the students to filter out the teachers when they are online and they want to speak to someone, they can look, at, they can filter different tags and then teachers who have those tags will show up. All right, <clears throat> so now we're going to go to application guideline at the very bottom. And this is going to give you some more information about what I've already been talking about the entire application process. Now you need to set up your payment information. So you go to my wallet and click the green tag that says add. And then here you can set up your PayPal account. So this is how you will be paid every month by Palfish. Your application will be reviewed and either accepted or rejected within a few days. And when you find out whether or not you are accepted, you will see a message in the bottom icon and you can click that and they will let you know. Okay, so now that you are a teacher, let's give you the tour of the app. So you can see at the top, we have your profile picture and your name. Under that, we have teaching hours, ratings, and followers. So teaching hours, we see we have 29.6 hours so far that we have taught. And if we click on this, 
we were able to see all of our teaching conversations that we have had with our students. Let's go back. Okay, so ratings, we see we have been rated by 45 different students and we have an average of 9.97. If we click on this, okay, so we see we are rated by attitude, quality, and helpfulness. And if we scroll down, we see all of the comments from our students that, have made, that they have made about us. Let's go back. Now, if we click on followers, we see all of our followers and we have a total of 329. All right, so this big green button at the very top, this is the first way that you make money on Palfish. It is called free talk. So once I click the green button that says start tutoring, then it will show students who have the Palfish app that I am online right now and I am available to talk. So then they have the option to call me. It's kind of like a cold call. And when you are talking with them, you also have the option to do video chat. Usually I think people tend to do voice call, but you have the option to turn on your camera. And also you can both upload pictures and draw on the pictures so it helps you interact with them more and show them different things. So that's a great feature. So if I click start tutoring, now we see I'm online right now. And then if I click stop tutoring, now I'm offline. And to set your rate, it is completely up to you. So if we go to the person icon at the bottom right that says me, and we go to set your rate, this is where you would be able to set your rate. It is per minute. Standard rate is how much you charge every single person. Trial rate is how much you charge the very first time that they call you. Usually the trial rate is lower than your standard rate. So let's go back to home. Okay, so the second way to make money is through lessons. So the light blue paper icon on the left that says lessons, let's click on that. And here you're able to see your current lessons and also create new lessons. So if we click on one of these, okay, we see this is the lesson name, this is how much it costs, this is how long it lasts for an introduction to what you will be learning in the lesson, pictures for it, and also students who have bought the lesson. All right, so lessons, you can create them. It is up to you what you want them to be. Some are more general, like just some discounted free talk. Some lessons are more specific, like study tips and helping you pass your IELTS exam, for example. There are so many different kinds of lessons. It is completely up to you and whatever you want to create. If we go back and we click the icon in the top right, we can create a normal course, which is just you teaching one other student versus seminar, which is you teaching many students in one time. Okay, so the next way you can make a little cash is through lives. So if you click on the green video camera icon on the right, that says live so I can see all of the lives that this person or that me if I was logged in has made so lives basically you are chatting you are video chatting with other students and teachers in real time so you do a video of yourself you can't see them but they can all see you and then there's a chat box in the live where you are able to communicate with them and they can communicate with you so if they have a question they can type it in, everyone can see it, and then you can answer. So when you first start as a teacher, I would definitely suggest doing a few free lives because this way you can introduce yourself to the student community and help them get to know you better and then they will be more wanting and willing to give you a call. So if we go back and then up here at the top right where it says live lessons, we'll click on this. All right, and here we can see all of the lives. So these are the lives that are happening soon. And then if I go, there are so many different categories. So hot, pronunciation, basic, IELTS, kid, daily hobby, culture, Q&A, others. So let's see if we hit culture, favorite smells, Canadian stereotypes, Christmas, countries and languages, 
Christmas again. So this is these are all lives that people are doing. Okay, and you can also decide how much you want to charge for your live as well. All right, so now if we move to the rainbow wheel in the center that says moments, we'll click on that. And here you're able to see all of the moments that you have posted. So moments are like posts that you create on social media. For example, posts that you create on Facebook on your wall. Everyone can see them, students and teachers, all on Palfish. And they can like and comment and you can respond to them. And you can create a moment by going to the top right pencil icon. And here you can see you have the option to do picture and text, voice or video moments. Let's go back. If we go back to live, here, I forgot to mention, if you click the top right icon, this is where you would create your live. Okay. All right, so now I would like to talk a little bit about the rest of the icons to help you familiarize yourself with it all. So if we click the students icon, the purple person icon on the right, here we can see all of the students that you have taught so far or that have bought your lesson. And the little green icon, the little green pencil on the right, if we click on this, here we are able to set a rate specifically for each student. So by default, if we go back, you can see it all says 1.4 per minute. So this is your standard rate that you set that I showed you earlier. But by clicking this little green pencil icon, you're able to create a rate for a specific student. Maybe you want to give a regular student a discount, for example. All right, let's go back. Okay, and then the icon to the left of that, the pink book person after class icon. Let's click on that. And here, if we click on all, here's a way to see all of your students that you have taught and to listen to the recording of your conversation. And in to do list, this is where, for example, if you just had a lesson or if you just had a free talk, then that would show up here in your to do list and it would remind you to give that person or lesson or free talk to give them a comment, maybe say something that they should work on or just if you want to say it was great talking with you, I hope to talk to you again, something like that. So we'll go back and then if we go down to the pink, the light pink groups icon. So here we can see this person does not have a group, but you can easily create one by clicking the top right icon. So groups, you're able to create for students or teachers or both. It is just a way to create a little community where everyone is in a group chat and you can all message each other. I created a group for all of my students specifically, and then I am able to have all my students in one place. And if I have a live, for example, instead of individually messaging every single student, I can just put it in the group. Everybody sees it at the same time. It's a great way to easily and quickly communicate with all of your students. And there's so many different themes to different groups, so it completely varies. So let's go back. And then the red heart that says following. This shows all of the teachers that you're following and all of the students that you are following. All right, let's go back. Okay, so now if we look at the yellow trophy that says rankings and we click this, here we are able to see all of the teachers rankings. So they are ranked daily, monthly, and overall. So monthly is reset every month and daily is reset every day. We'll go back and then click on the light green icon on the bottom left that says student app. It would take me to the Palfish student app in my app store and I would be able to download the student app for free. This way I am able to see the perspective of the student on the application and also I can click on my profile and see what it looks like for them. All right, and the last icon here, it is the light blue person icon that says application. If we click on this, this takes us to the kids official application. So if you would like to be an official kids teacher here on Palfish, 
then the first step you need to take is to fill this out. You need to make sure that you either have teaching certificate or you have experience in teaching kids and of course native English speaker. So those are the main requirements. You fill out your application, submit it, and a PALFISH representative will be in contact with you and will set up your mock interview or your mock class if you are eligible to pass. Now if we go back, let me go to training. This top this video on the top that says tips for official kids course interviews. This is another video that I made, so it may help you if you do want to apply as a teacher to be an official teacher on Powfish, then I would recommend watching this video before your mock class to prepare ahead of time. So let's go back. Okay, and now if we go to the very bottom where it says home, next to that we have moments. Here you can see all of the teachers and students who you are following and their moments. And then to the left are the recommended moments. All right, and then if we go to the right from that, we have messages. Here you can see all of your messages between you and the Palfish team, or just you and other students and teachers. And if we go to the top right where it says groups, here we are able to discover groups on Palfish and join them if we want. Or we can also create a group as well. All right, now if we go to the right where it says me, here it shows my profile. If I clicked on profile, it would show my personal information, my account information, and I would be able to edit all of that there, including my text intro and my audio intro. And then on this page, we have my wallet. So let's click that. Now this shows all of the income that you have made here on Palfish. So if we scroll down, it'll tell you exactly how much you made for each interaction you had with a student or a live or a lesson or whatever it is. And if we go back here, so you can also set your rate here, which I showed you earlier. And if you hit my recordings, this is another way to see everyone, all of your recordings from your past students, your past teacher, your past conversations and lessons all right and then that is about it so I can go back to home the last thing I want to show you is how to create and set your schedule so the orange calendar icon on the left go to schedule so this is what the schedule looks like you can create your schedule for two weeks out oops and so here you are able to if I click on a time slot I can choose these different options. If I hit open the selected days. All right, so now the seven o'clock time is open and any student can decide to book it and I can click it and hit close if I want. And this green, I, the green little area, the green time slot that has the orange calendar, that means that someone has booked this time slot with me. And I can book all of these ahead of time. If I go to appointments on the top left, these are the appointments that I have coming up. All right, and also it's good to note that all of the times in Palfish, including on your schedule, they're set according to your time zone. So for example, I am here in Los Angeles. So for me, it is set to LA time zone or California over here, but if you are in, for example, Thailand or the UK or anywhere else, it'll the time will be updated based on where you live. So let's go back. All right, so that's about it. The very last thing you should know is if you have any questions or want to know any more information or learn more about Powellfish policies, you can click this FAQ button, the FAQ button on the top right. And here it gives you some more information all about Palfish and its features and policies. Okay, so that's it. I hope this video helped you guys out. Happy Palfishing!